Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5 Minute Presets. Today we're in pigments again, and I feel like making some noise. And by that, I mean just using only noise. Okay, hopefully we can make something cool out of this. So here we go. Let's file new preset and start the clock here. So obviously for the first one, let's go to analog. Turn this bad boy down. Turn the noise up. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit more pink noise. For the second, I don't really even need that second one unless I do want two noises and two filters. Oh my god, okay, I should, probably should have thought about this. Okay, so let's turn on some of these here. Since these are also noise and... Let's make, actually first, let's make something cool with this noise here. It's gonna go to the MS-20. Something like that. Let's modulate this with a function, something kind of like this here, and let's make something cool. Let's do some drawing, something kind of like this. Is this going to be cool? Whoa, that's insane. Okay, so we're going to be straight only. Maybe two? Okay, so... Let's change some of these curves here, make something just kind of strange, and remove that to make the curve... Okay, we're going to do an LFO here on this uh, resonance here. That might be kind of interesting. But as well, let's keep this as a unipolar because I don't really want to move past that. And we need to... Oh, you know what? Po probably you triggered by poly would make sense. Okay, so we have that here, and maybe let's do let's do um buh, 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 buh. let's go engine two, and let's also do the same thing. Let's turn this on, go to analog. That's fine. Turn this down. Give us some noise, and send this to filter two, and let's see if we can do something kind of interesting. I don't really want these like that. I want them to be not going into each other. So for the second one here, let's turn this off for now. Oh, we're gonna be running out of time. Okay, so this one is going to be something kind of similar. Maybe let's do the matrix twelve. Kind of do that as well. Have the resonance doing the same thing for LFO1. But for this one, let's do function two, right? Do kind of something similar. And maybe let's go to function number one. And da, 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 da. what we could, you know. Oh, I'm just going to copy this to function number two. And then change the speed to maybe one bar. Okay, so that might be kind of cool for now. I guess we could do some cutoffs here. A little bit of that might be kind of cool. Maybe a little bit more resonance for these as well. I'm kind of just doing the default because we really don't need much. So cut and then boom and then res. Okay, so we're going here. I can't use the sub because I said I'm just using noise. So let's go to effects here. And this is going to be a lot of weird delay stuff. So the first one, let's do one over four. That's kind of cool. Okay. Some fine here. Might be interesting. Some stereo spread. The next one's also going to be another delay here. 119. Okay, let's go to 1 over 8. Stereo spread. Maybe ping pong for that. And then maybe a pitch shifting delay. And what does a distortion sound like after that? Maybe a chorus? That might be interesting. A Juno 6? Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, I do want a reverb. I can, you know, I'm going to use the accent for the reverb and just EQ the crap out of this because it sounds, it can sound muddy. Okay. Where do we go here? We 
you know what? That might be kind of cool to move that with the LFO as well that we're kind of already moving. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of weird here. So totally didn't expect to make anything like this, but it could be kind of an interesting rhythmic thing, right? And if I don't, kind of, if you want to use this or kind of start off this with a template or something like that, something cool that you can use since we already ran out of time is obviously put the effects on a macro. Or what you could do is maybe use the third one where we kind of would have used the sub. You could use that on these functions and tie them to the right here so you can kind of modulate with one macro how slow or how fast this thing moves rhythmically. You can kind of do something like that. But yeah, very interesting one. So what are we going to call this here? Uh, rhythmic noise, I guess. That's kind of just the basic description of what this is. Rhythmic noise. Okay, that's if you want to get rhythmic noise or at least use this for a starting template, then by all means, there's a link in the video description below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.